let's subtract the fractions 3 fourths minus 1 third. And what we're trying to do is we have 3 over 4 minus 1 over 3. We want to know what fraction answer we end up with. When we're subtracting or adding fractions, we need to get the denominator, the number on the bottom, to be the same. Let's list the multiples of 4 and 3. So for 4 we have, and then 3 we have, and there it is, 12. 12 is the lowest common multiple for both 4 and 3. So if we can get the denominators to be 12, we can just subtract the numerators and we'll have our fraction. What I can do is I could multiply 3 times 4. That would give me 12. But I have to multiply the top and bottom by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So I haven't changed the value just the way we represent it. Over here, if I multiply 3 times 4, that'll give me 12. Let's multiply the top as well. And now, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. And if you divide 3 by 4 or 9 by 12, you'll get the same number. Over here, we have 1 times 4, that's 4. 3 times 4, that's 12. So we have the same denominator. What we do is we subtract 9 minus 4. That gives us 5. And we just bring the 12 across. So 3 fourths minus 1 third is 5 twelfths. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.